And we can also work with electronic drum kits as well in Logic. So if we now go to the back to the library and click the padlock just to open that and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing and now in the drummer section we're going to choose hip hop and we're going to choose Morris boom bap and change the drummer and let's have a let's choose a region let's have a listen So you can hear that Morris plays a very loose swing hip hop groove and the project tempo has changed to 135 although it sounds like he's playing half that so maybe adjust the tempo to 168 In the inspector, the drum kit designer has been replaced with a drum machine designer, which has been inserted at the top of the drummer channel strip. It looks a little bit different. It looks like this. And we'll come back to that in a minute, but you can see there's shakers and rides and hi-hats and kicks and all sorts of things going on. And as I play it, you can see each of the regions being triggered. You'll also notice some changes being made to the drum editor. You'll see that the beat presets and the puck pad remain the same, but over here the drum kit has been replaced and we now have percussion, shakers and hi-hats and kick, snare and claps. And if we go to the details function, we'll see a new set of functions here which we can experiment with. And if we go to humanize, The best way to demonstrate that it's like a feel function so if I just put my song position pointer right on the bar and zoom in if I move this humanize function you'll see what happens so as I move it to zero it's on the beat if I want it to play a little bit later I can move move the humanize feel to give it um, a more of a laid-back feel We've also got a swing function, which moves certain elements. Can you see that bit moving as I'm changing the setting here? Let's move the swing now. So we can make it more or less tight depending on what we're after. When we're working with drum machines, quite often we want to see each element laid out on a piano roll or a drum roll so that we can move individual MIDI elements uh, on, on a piano roll. When we work with drum machines, quite often we want to see each element laid out on a piano roll or a drum roll. We can easily do that in Logic by selecting a region. So let's say take this region here if I control click I'll get this function here convert convert to MIDI region and that then changes that into a more recognizable uh, layout for those that like to work with MIDI you'll see in the piano roll notes are represented by beams on a grid the beams are positioned across a vertical piano roll that shows the MIDI note pitches. And you can see each of the elements being triggered. So if we look at our, go back to our drum machine designer, we'll see that there's a lot of samples loaded, but only so many being triggered. course if we wanted to trigger other ones we'll see the names corresponding along here to each of these samples 
and we can with the pencil tool which is my command click tool so I hit command and I get a pencil tool I can start to draw in additional notes so now in my drum machine designer let's choose this kick let's just solo it we can of course mute it when we select it and we go to our library we'll see that in our library it shows us a list of all the kick drums available to us so if I select and play I can change kick drums and also with the kick selected the smart controls for that pane open here if I then click on snare that then loads up my snare library and I can do a similar thing here if I just go up to that image there and click that just resets there we go that resets now so that gives me my smart controls for the channel strip as I showed you earlier